Welcome to Electra Online and here's a really interesting circuit that takes a little trick to figure out because without the trick you probably would never be able to figure it out. So let's say we have the same circuit like we did before. Resistors that are in combination of series and parallel, series and parallel and so forth. But let's say that it goes out to infinity. It never stops. An infinite number of these resistors in this combination. What is the R equivalent or R total of this circuit. So let's just use the word, the, the concept of R total. What is the total resistance of this circuit? Hmm, how do we do that? Well, there's a neat little trick. And the way that trick works is as follows. Let's say that we draw a line, and let me put this R over in the front, so because I want to have a little bit more space, let's draw a dotted line right there. And an arrow this way, and an arrow this way. So, what I'm proposing here, of course this is not my trick, this is a trick that I learned from when I learned this stuff, but what if I were to chop the circuit off right here, remove this front end, remove these first three resistors here, and take my terminals and put them over there. So imagine for a moment that these first three resistors do not exist. Notice what we have left on this side of the circuit. It looks exactly the same as it did before. Because if this goes out to infinity, it doesn't matter if we take away the first three because there's an infinite number of resistors. The, the rest of the circuit looks exactly the same the way it did before. So what I can then imagine is that anything that follows this resistor right here can be replaced by a single equivalent resistor that is equal to the total resistance of the circuit. As strange as it sounds, it makes sense. Logically, it does. So what we're going to do now is redraw the circuit as follows. We're still going to have A and B, the two terminals. We're still going to have these three resistors. Oop, almost too far. One resistor here. Okay, they all have resistance R. But then everything past that line is not going to be replaced by a single resistor equal to the total resistance of the whole circuit. We'll just start like this. Our total. This is equivalent to this. And what we want to know is what is the total resistance across from A, R from A to B. So our total is equal to question mark between points A and point B, the two terminal points right there. So now all we have to do is simplify this particular circuit. And of course, the way we do that is we start combining these two resistors first. And since they're in parallel, we use the product over the sum, since there's only two of them. So the R equivalent of those two is equal to the product. That would be R times R total divided by the sum, which is R plus R total. This is an R right there. And so this is equal to R times R total divided by R plus R total. I guess that's the only way you can write it. And so we're going to redraw the circuit like this. Let's say this is our terminals A and B. We still have those two resistors. We have resistance R and R, but now notice that those two combined now form a single equivalent resistor. And that resistor will have resistance of R times R total. Oop, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So it would be the product of R times R total divided by R plus R total. Okay, now what we have to do is just simply add those three resistors together. So it's R plus R plus R times R total divided by R plus R total. So if we're now going to get the equivalent resistor circuit this way, we get an A and a B, the terminals. Now we have a single resistor, and that single resistor will now have resistance equal to the sum of all three since they're in series. We simply have to add them together. So R plus R is 2R. So this would be... Uh, 2R plus R, R total, divided by R plus R total. And of course, that is equal to the total resistance of the whole circuit, because there's now only one left. So now, to simplify that, because we have R total here, R total there, R total there, let's algebraically simplify that, isolate R total, and see what it is equal to. So, so we end up with R total is equal to 2R, plus R times R total divided by R plus R total. So the first thing we're going to do is find the common denominator. 
between these two terms, and of course, since this, is, this doesn't have a denominator, it's over one, the common one would be r plus r total, so we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by r plus r total. So r total is equal to, oh, here we go, r total is equal to 2r times r plus r total divided by r plus r total. Notice that if I cancel these out, I'm back to what I started with right there, so I didn't really change anything, plus r times r total divided by r plus r total. And now I have two fractions with the same denominator, so I can combine those two. Also notice I can multiply this times that and get rid of the parentheses. So now we have r total is equal to 2r squared, because r times r is r squared, plus 2r times r total, plus we still have an r times r total over there, the whole thing divided by r plus r total. All right, the next step is to go ahead and combine these two because we have 2rr total plus rr total, so we can combine that and we can take the denominator and move it over to the other side. So now we have r total times r plus r total is equal to 2r squared plus 3rr total. Okay, we can now multiply the left side, and so we have r times r total plus r total squared equals 2r squared plus 3r r total. Notice that I can take this r total, bring it to the other side, and subtract from that side. I can subtract an r times r total from both sides. I can do that. All right, let me do that. So we have... Uh, r total squared is equal to 2r squared plus we have a 3rr total and I have an rr total on the left side. I subtract an rr total from both sides, so I end up with 2r times r total. Now notice I have a quadratic equation with r total in it. So let me then put everything over to one side. Let me come over here. And so we have r total squared, move this over to the left side, so minus 2r, r total, Oop, r total should be at the bottom here, there we go, uh, minus 2r squared, and that equals zero. So now we have a quadratic equation, we have an r total squared, we have an r to the t total to the first power, and we have a constant here, so now we simply use a quadratic formula to solve for r total. So we can say that r total which is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Notice that a is 1, b is minus 2r, and c is minus 2r squared. So let's plug that in. So we have r total is equal to minus b, which would be a positive 2r, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be 4r squared minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is a minus 2r squared. Notice that the minus times the minus cancel out, and the whole thing is divided by 2a, which is 2. Now notice that we can multiply this out, so we have uh, minus 4r squared minus, or that becomes a plus 8r squared. Hmm, that's pretty good. Let's, um, I'm running out of room here, ain't I? All right, so I'm going to take this whole thing and move it over to the very end of the board, over there, so we can complete it. We're almost done. So we have a plus 8r squared, plus a 4r squared, that's plus 12r squared. So we have this uh, r total is equal to 2r, plus or minus the square root of 12r squared, divided by 2. Now notice that I can factor out a 4, take it out of the the uh, radical, and that becomes the square root of 4, which is 2, so our total is equal to 2r plus or minus 2 times the square root of, I have then a 3r squared left, divided by 2, Now notice that the 2 in the denominator can cancel out the 2's in the numerator, and finally, if I take the square root of r squared, I can say that our total is equal to r plus or minus the square root of 3 times r. Hmm, 
plus or minus. Let's see here. What, what about the minus part of this equation? Since the square root of 3 times r is bigger than r, that would give us a negative number if I use the minus sign. So therefore, by default, the minus sign cannot be valid. And so finally, this must be the answer. So the total resistance of a circuit like this, where the resistors go out to infinity, is equal to r plus the square root of 3 times r. And that's how you do that.